The journey to design elevations in ARCHICAD has been simplified for us with the new features and new tools available to us in ARCHICAD 25. Because now with just a few clicks, it's easy or easier to get stunning visuals for your design project. So in this video, we're going to combine the section together with the elevation to come up with this interesting view that has a lot of cool things going on highlighting the foreground the background and sending things to the back in a much more designly stunning way what's up everybody my name is Namara Alan, welcome to Naritech Studio. So if you are new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this and give this video a thumbs up if you do find it interesting. Let's go to the ground floor and find out how we actually did get here. So this is the um, sort of layout that I do have for this composition and I have three blocks that this should be in the background and these two are going to be giving us the beautiful section. So for that, I'm going to go to the viewport and get a section, a default section. I'm not going to change a thing about it. And I need my section to be in the same area that I created the one before. And once I have that, um, the thing about placing sections is that you need to be in a space where you go through most of the openings like i'd like to have this window in there a door there a window and door uh, such that you know i highlight that relationship between spaces the lounge and the exterior the kitchen and the backyard things like that you want to choose a section like that so let's open that so let's right click and say open with current view settings and uh, here we have a traditional Akikad section, which is far from interesting because there's so much color, there's so much everything going on here. Here are the few steps that you'd like to take. One is right click on the tab right here and select selection settings. So in the settings, the first thing that I'd like us to do is to highlight the cut elements. So under cut elements, check uniform cut element and change everything to black like this. And that is going to help us if I say, okay, highlight the things which are in the foreground. And that it's already powerful enough because we can see the distinction between the foreground and the background. So the next thing is I would like us to tone down the colors that are here. So we have green, we have blue, we have red and everything going on. So let's go back to the settings. So right click on the tab and go to section settings. And in the settings, we want to look at the uncut elements and choose a uniform pen for the uncut elements and we could choose any other so i'm going to choose a black pen 0.13 and that is going to enable us to highlight everything so now we have everything a uniform color but when we do that, we start to realize a few things that are popping through the openings, uh, which I do not personally like. So to remove the things which you see through glass, we right click and go back to the settings. And this time we are going to look at this transparency and uncheck it such that when we say, okay, we are going to have the glass not letting anything opaque show through it. So that's pretty cool. But now we need to go to the interesting stuff, the stuff that is going to show us the texturing on these surfaces because they have some texture on it. So this option is available from Akikad 25 and under uncut elements. And right here we have the options of texturing using surface textures. So it could be shaded or non-shaded. 
there's a little bit of a difference but i like to use non-shaded so you can choose either of the two it does work so if we do that we can wait for it to load and it will come with some textures for us and that looks very good because now we start to see the elements come alive but right now it's a bit too close it's it's a bit too flat for us so in order to add a bit of diff distance in this elevation all we have to do is to go back in the settings and enable the distance so let's scroll down here and look at fed distant elements so check that and now we have interesting things going on because here we open up a bunch of other options which are available to us and you can see that these elements become available to us all the way to texture fill non-shaded so these are actually linked to what we selected for the uncut elements here so if we ch changed to surface texture fill you can see that now we do not have the non-shaded available and the shaded ones are available to us in the faded background so i'm going to take this back to the non-shaded the texture fill and as well i could keep the texture at the distant elements but we also have the option to put a uniform pen on the elements which are further away and that's good for us because I want those to be a little bit grayed out. So I'll choose a lesser color or a grayed out color, something like that. And for now, let's take that and look at what happens to that. There we are. We start to get a dis distance. So how does Akikad know what to fade? Well, it's because of what's happening in the floor plans here. Because now you can see that Akikad is fading everything that's beyond this line right here so uh, you can adjust how far this is so because if we wanted to be a little bit more dramatic and take this all the way out if we open up now it's still a flat image but if we take this block out of this selection and put it after the balcony and we say open with current view settings now we have this block which is grayed out in the background okay that's that's cool but we also want to add some depth to the drawing and shadows will go a long way to do that so right click and go to the section settings and we will turn on the shadows right now so we'll go down scroll down here and you look at something called shadows here and there they are. I like to keep them subtle, so I'll keep at 25%. And you can see that it shows up when you scroll up here that the fed distant elements also have a an option for shadow. And you can also adjust them independently. So I'll keep the defaults for now and we say OK. And these shadows are generally much more heavier, so they take a, a little bit longer. So you have to wait just a bit for them to load. All right, and here you are. And it's much better because it's got depth. It's got everything, those interesting things. So now to the fun part where we add in the context to the building. So how do we add in some context? For example, a sky in the background. And what do we do with these things which are unpleasant just after the background? So let's add in some sky. And for that, I already have one here. You can download any image online and place it in. So right now it's right here and I can scale it up with Ctrl K to cover everything that I have to cover here and adjust it into position considering the horizon position in the image and that will do for for me so right now it's too bright it's too much for us so how do we send this to the back one trick that i have for you go to document and pick a fill we are going to make it a percentage fill 
So I'm going to choose like 75% because probably you have that one and make it a white and in the background here put in transparent and that's very important because we need to be able to see through. So if I draw this fill right here, you can see what happens. So I need to select this and the picture itself and right click display order send to back. So now we have this stuff at the back and when I deselect you can see that this fill goes a long way to push this to the back and now we can take it all the way across. So if you wanted it to be a little bit further than this you can create your own fill custom fill which you can do with options element attributes and fills and right here you can create a new fill so right now we have 75 percent uh, selected we can make this about 90 percent okay just to show you and i'll change the transparency here to 90 and i say okay and how do i apply that i have to select this fill and then change that from the current 75 to 90%. And now the sky is a little bit more faded. So I had created something like so 85, which I liked how it did look. So for this miserable foreground, we might want to choose another fill. So I'll pick a fill and I'll make it foreground color. And that foreground is going to be black. And we could draw that across here yeah looking good and move it up all the way to cover this stuff but something interesting that i like to do is to use a gradient fill so is to change this to a gradient fill and we cannot access that until we take this to drafting so change this to drafting fill and choose the linear gradient and right now we can change what that looks like so we can reorient to there and have this all the way up and increase the line here and that looks much better we can also remove this from transparent to foreground and we have ourselves a nice design section so now the final part is to put in the people the human beings in order to make this space feel like it's being lived in and that's the simplest part so go to objects and type in man and there he is you can get one standing put him in the foreground and just say okay and place them perhaps at the balcony and there you have it and finally let's put in a tree so from objects here type in tree and i'll pick something like the deciduous go into here the 2d representation and change that to symbolic side view and i can choose any that i like to see and this will work for now say so, okay and place it in and obviously it's huge Control k to resize say okay and then just take the whole of this thing down to a humble size something like that and as well i might want to change the contour line from green to black and that is it that is basically it so Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.